We're going to begin creating our new application by setting up the project and creating the user interface. Now, unlike with the previous example, we don't have to create a database because we're going to use the exact same database that was created in the previous tutorial and simply connect to it. All you have to do is to ensure that the database uh, is connected. As you can see from this uh, icon, the, the icon tile is a whole tile as compared to that one, which shows that the library connection, uh, database connection is live. Okay, so we start by creating a new project. Make sure it's a Java, Java application type project. Next, we'll call this School Library Advanced. And where it says create main class, make sure yours is unchecked like mine. The reason being that in a main, uh, the main class of uh, a graphical user interface uh, application should be the main screen of the user interface. All right, click on finish. And we are done. NetBeans has made the project for us. Now the next step is to create the main uh, GUI screen. So I'm going to create a JFrame form. I'm going to call this School Library Main. And as far as package goes, I'm not going to use the default package. I'm going to create a package called School Library. And click on Finish. All right. Now we are going to start to populate this empty JFrame form. The first thing I'm going to do is to make it much wider, stretch it out horizontally. Next thing is I'm going to throw in a tabbed pane because as we saw in the example, we need uh, tabs. And immediately after that, I put in a panel. All right, now if you look at the navigator on the left, you'll find that the tabbed pane and the panel are both children of JFrame. What I'm going to do is I actually want the panel to be a child of the tabbed pane. In other words, the panel will live inside the tabbed pane. So that's very easy to resolve. Simply click, drag it, and drop it over the tabbed pane. That's about the easiest way to go about it. Immediately, I'm going to drop in another panel. Try and drop it directly above the existing uh, tabbed pane. And when we look at the navigator, we'll see that the new panel, panel 2, is now a child of panel 1, which is incorrect. I wanted it to be a child of tabbed pane. So the tabbed pane will be the main container. And below that, we'll have two tabs, which is panel 1 and panel 2. So again, simply drag and drop it over tabbed pane. And there we go. Now you can see we have a little box with two, uh, uh, with two tabs. The size is a bit off, so we're going to stretch it. Stretch it horizontally until you see the dotted line near the border of the J frame. And stretch it to the left as well. And the same to the top and bottom. What's cool about NetBeans uh, uh, Swing uh, GUI Builder is that it guides you. It gives you guides when you are resizing or moving elements on your user interface. All right, so there we have it. Now to take a quick look at it in the preview mode, so click on the preview mode, uh, preview button, and we can see that our two tabs are in place and everything seems to be going well. Everything is taking shape. Now just to do some renaming. Tab one, edit text, we'll call it author. Tab two, right click and edit text book all right then the j frame itself we're going to work on the frame itself so we go to the navigator right click click on properties all right firstly we'll change the title we'll call it school library leave everything else as is And let's do a preview again. There we have it. School library in the top. Author, book. Looks, looks okay. 